كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليدبروا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My brothers and sisters, some people are more interested in the life after death and some are interested in this life. The reality is a believer strikes a balance between the two with the greater interest in the hereafter because if you have lost this world but you've gained the hereafter, you've actually gained everything. But if you have this world and you've lost the hereafter, you've actually lost everything. So we always ask the Almighty for goodness in this world and goodness in the hereafter. In the interim, we tend to work towards one of the two or both of them without realizing or sometimes knowingly. What we do is we give preference to something even though we may claim that we give preference to the other. What this means is we say that we want paradise and we are working towards paradise and we love Jannah but the way we lead our lives is very far from actually making sure that that statement is true. So we are so interested in worldly items, we pursue them to the degree that we compromise our duties unto Allah, be it your prayer, be it your truthfulness, your worship, your charities, your dress code, your relationships, your moralities, your values, all of that becomes compromised because of worldly reasons. And we still claim we want paradise. Now, Allah Almighty in Surah Al-Isra explains something really beautiful. If you take a look at Surah Al-Isra, which is also named Surah Banu Israel, the reason is the Isra or the journey by night from Mecca to Baytul Maqdis is mentioned in it. And Banu Israel, because the children of Israel are mentioned in it, the children of the Prophet Jacob or Yaqub, may peace be upon him. So those are the names of the surah. In this surah, Allah Almighty tells us quite clearly that whoever strives towards achieving the goodness of this world, we will give it to them. You worked hard to achieve the goodness of this world. We will give it to you. Listen, verse number 18. Allah says, مَنْ كَانَ يُرِيدُ الْعَاجِلَ عَجَّلْنَا لَهُ فِيهَا مَا نَشَاءُ لِمَنْ نُرِيدُ Whoever wants this current life that you're in right now, you know, that which is right now, and strives towards it, we will give whatever we wish to whomsoever we wish from amongst them, we will give them. And in the hereafter, they achieve nothing. They didn't believe in it. They didn't want it. So if someone says, listen, I'm not interested in the hereafter. I don't even want to know what happens to me after I die. I'm not even interested. I don't even believe in it. I just live my life. I want to enjoy it. And that's it. Allah says, we may give them that enjoyment. And then in the hereafter, they get nothing. They didn't even believe in it. They weren't even bothered to try to understand they didn't even want to know. So that clears for us something very, very big. We are reconnecting with revelation in order to understand why the transgressors and the disbelievers achieve a lot in this world. Allah says, because they strove for it. They worked hard to achieve it. And we decided we're going to give it to them. You want the world? We give you the world. But in the hereafter, there's nothing left because for you or you didn't believe in it. So you see a lot of people who are far away from the Almighty. They, they are not even bothered about the hereafter, but they're enjoying this life. How? Well, because Allah decided it's okay, they're working towards it, we give it to them. Anyone who works hard to achieve anything, they may achieve that thing. So Allah says, yes, we may give it to them. Now, Allah says, in the hereafter, they've lost. They will be cast in the torment, in the punishment in what's known as Jahannam, in hellfire, etc. All of that is there. So these warnings are delivered in the Quran. They're delivered in revelation. But at the same time, the Almighty gives the good news. Allah says, 
ومن أراد الآخرة وسعى لها سعيها وهو مؤمن فأولئك كان سعيهم مشكورا whoever intends the hereafter and works and strives towards it then subhanallah if they're believers Allah says their striving will definitely be met with gratitude with a reward with paradise when you strive it will be met with that paradise so when I fulfill my five daily prayers, the Almighty doesn't guarantee me the best conveyance and good business and a healthy job and a fat salary and everything else. But he says, you are working towards what here? You're working towards the hereafter. We'll give it to you. The others worked towards the world. We may give it to them, even if they don't believe in the hereafter. We will give you. You know, we say... If you do this, you get a reward. If you do your Quran, you get a reward. If you do your prayers, you get a reward. If you give your charity, you get a reward. What's the meaning of the term reward? Doesn't it mean that in the hereafter, I'm going to see a recompense of it for sure. As for this world, I may see or I may not see. It's up to Allah. But the hereafter is what we're more interested in. So that's why Allah Almighty says quite clearly in verse number 19, وَمَنْ أَرَادَ الْآخِرَةِ Whoever intends whoever has aimed at the hereafter and strives works towards it and they're believers they believe in the almighty in the hereafter Allah said you know what they won't regret and then Allah says Kullan you know the giving of Allah the distribution of Allah the wealth the sustenance the goodness that comes from Allah he says I will give these and I will give those so for Allah to have given all parties does not necessarily mean he's pleased with them in this world. When Allah's given someone a lot of the world and money and holidays and happiness and meaning a type of joy where they have beauty and the whole world, they have the millions and the billions. It does not necessarily mean that the Almighty is pleased with them. He says we've given them. You know, the giving of Allah is, it was not going to be prevented and stopped. It's up to Allah what he wants to do. So he said, we give both. So we may give these and we may give those. But Allah says, Look at how we have raised some above others in virtue. Look at how we have raised some above others in virtue. These people might look downtrodden on earth. But we've raised them in rank because they have earned the hereafter. And these people look so high on earth, but we have dropped them in the hereafter. They didn't work towards it and they will have nothing there. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَلْآخِرَةُ أَكْبَرُ دَرَجَاتٍ وَأَكْبَرُ تَفْضِيلًا Indeed, the hereafter is greater in levels and the hereafter is greater in virtue. What he is saying is, people work for this world, others work for the hereafter. Some work for both, preferring the hereafter. Some work for both, preferring this worldly life. Allah says, well, we give all of those. We give all of those, but bear in mind, the hereafter is far better. The hereafter, in another verse, Allah says, is everlasting, which is there. And Allah says, it is greater in virtue. You want to work towards something? Work towards the hereafter. And Allah Almighty actually tells that to us. I want to mention one more verse here regarding connecting with revelation. When you connect with revelation, you develop a compassion. That compassion will lead you to give. Giving begins at home. So when you give your family members and your relatives, Allah Almighty says, give them their due. You owe it to them. That is revelation. You connected with Allah, you will automatically feel compassion to the rest of the creatures of the same Allah. And Allah Almighty then says, La tubadhir tabdiran. Don't be wasteful. Why? Because wastefulness or those who are wasteful are the brethren of Satan, the brethren of the devil. That means don't be extravagant. If you're extravagant, you need to reconnect with revelation and calm down a bit. Give people. You have been given a lot, not to become extravagant, but to reach out to those who don't have. 
Allah wants to see. Will you do that or will you not? When you reach out to others, Allah reaches out to you. May Allah grant us from his virtue and forgiveness. أقول قولي هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر